Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to the seventh tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial, we are going to start programming the chatbot. And if you didn't watch the previous tutorial, we just simply created this user interface right here. And you can download it if you want. But <clears throat> before we continue, I would like to get rid of this send button issue because I don't like the way it, it is displayed on the screen. I'll just do it by applying the position absolute to send, send button. So now it's fixed. So the first thing I want to do is the following. You know, if I enter some text and press the enter key, uh, it creates a new line, which is normal. But sometimes I want to have the message sent when I press enter. So why don't you just create a simple checkbox down here saying press uh, send, uh, send on enter. So this is what I want to do first. So let's just create a checkbox real quick. Input type equals checkbox and ID, I don't know, enter. Mm, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so now we have a check checkbox, but it, we don't have any label for it. So we can create a label saying send on enter. Okay, gr great. Um, now we can actually start pro programming, but before we continue, first let's add jQuery to our document. And I hope you remember, I was telling you uh, to store your uh, jQuery file locally, which I actually did right here. So I'll just copy its name and my jQuery source is stored within the JS directory. I'll just save it. And now I added jQuery to the to the page. So now I can start programming. Let's uh, just create a script tag and this jQuery function, which is very useful. If you forgot what what it does, you know uh, every line of code I um, I enter between these two uh, curly brackets will be executed only when the whole document is loaded. Okay. So since we are going to work with the text area today, we uh, need to track the uh, the uh, enter key press on text area. We need to select the text area first. And text area's ID is text box. So let's just select the text box. And jQuery has this not nice um, built-in function called key press. And don't forget to uh, say event here in the in the brackets. And now let's check if um, or, you know this key press function will fire every time you um, you press any key. But we want to track. We only want to track the enter key. So let's just do the magic. Saying if event dot which is equals to 13 and 13 stands for stands for enter and if you're already familiar with other programming languages you would have to know that okay so if event which is equal to 13 the following should execute hmm and now we actually have to check um, if the checkbox is checked <laughs> sounds funny so now let's say if uh, checkbox has ID enter. So let's select the checkbox. If enter dot prop and prop stands for property. This is how I can ask if the checkbox is checked. And then you just open brackets and say checked, which is very easy because you know jQuery is very uh, intuitive. It's very easy to work with. So if it's checked, uh, the following code should code should execute. Let me make it look nicer. I'm afraid I forgot to put a dollar sign right here. Okay, so what do we do now? Now we track the enter key press and we track the checkbox. So we just check whether it's checked. Great and. 
now we can actually test it by using the console. Say in console log, mm, enter pressed checkbox is checked. Um, yeah. Let's just open the console and um, make a test. So nothing happens because I didn't check the checkbox and now I check the checkbox and enter some stuff and it says enter press checkbox is checked but as I see it creates the new line anyway so we want to prevent it to create the new line and so jQuery is very simple and has a very simple syntax so it's only event dot prevent default and that's it now it should work. Um, the new line, no new line should be created. Yeah, it works. I enter the text, I press enter, it doesn't create any new line, and it kind of sends the message. And in the next tutorial, we'll really learn how to send this message to the chatbot. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned this stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice one.